Ever notice how we always seem to board a plane from the left? It's like some unspoken rule of the sky. But why the left? Why not the right? Or even the back? We drive on the right side of the road in most countries, yet we board planes on the left. Is it some ancient aviation secret, or is there a more practical explanation? Well, grab your tray table and fasten your seatbelt, because we're about to take off on a journey to discover the truth behind this left-sided boarding ritual. We'll uncover the reasons from the practical to the historical. This left-side boarding phenomenon isn't just some random quirk. It's a product of history, practicality, and a whole lot of common sense. So next time you're shuffling down that jetway, take a moment to appreciate the logic behind this seemingly arbitrary tradition. Let's rewind the clock to the early days of aviation, before jet engines and pressurized cabins. Back then, planes were a lot more like boats, and pilots often had a nautical background. Seafaring vessels traditionally boarded from the port side, left, and this practice carried over to air travel. In the early days, the pilot typically sat on the left side of the cockpit, offering a clear view during taxiing and maneuvering. Boarding from the left allowed the pilot to keep an eye on the process, ensuring safe and efficient loading. Plus, with the pilot on the left, the right side was often used for fueling and other ground operations. So the next time you board a plane from the left, remember you're participating in a tradition that stretches back to the earliest days of flight. From the pilot's seat, the left side offers a crucial advantage clear visibility of the aircraft's wing and the surrounding area during ground operations. This perspective allows pilots to monitor the boarding process, ensuring proper clearance from jetways and ground equipment. The placement of the cockpit door on the left side further reinforces this preference. Boarding from the left ensures that passengers don't obstruct the pilot's access to the cockpit during critical phases of flight preparation. This streamlined process minimizes distractions and allows the flight crew to focus on their pre-flight checks. Imagine trying to squeeze past a line of passengers while attempting to pre-flight the aircraft. Boarding from the left keeps things orderly, allowing the pilot to maintain control and focus on the task at hand. It's a practical solution that benefits both the flight crew and the passengers. Imagine a seasoned pilot sharing stories of navigating busy airports, emphasizing the importance of that left side visibility. Or picture a flight attendant recalling instances where the left side boarding procedure prevented potential collisions with ground equipment. These untold stories underscore the practical wisdom behind this seemingly simple practice. Though anecdotal evidence is lacking here, the logic behind left side boarding is undeniable. The left side offers superior visibility and control, contributing significantly to the safety and efficiency of air travel. Left side boarding isn't just a random rule, it's a practical solution that has stood the test of time. For passengers, left side boarding means a smoother, more organized embarkation process. It minimizes confusion and reduces the chances of bottlenecks at the aircraft door. For airlines, the benefits are equally compelling. Faster boarding times mean quicker turnaround times for aircraft, allowing for more flights and increased revenue. This streamlined process also reduces the likelihood of delays, a common frustration for air travelers. By optimizing the boarding procedure, airlines can minimize the ripple effect of late departures. Left side boarding isn't just about tradition, it's about maximizing efficiency in a fast-paced industry. While left side boarding is the norm, there are exceptions to every rule. In some cases, particularly with smaller aircraft or at airports with limited ground infrastructure, boarding from the right side might be necessary. Certain aircraft designs, particularly those with doors on both sides, might utilize right side boarding in specific circumstances. Sometimes, the terrain or layout of an airport might dictate right side boarding. In these cases, adapting to the local conditions is essential for safe and efficient operations. So, while left side boarding is the standard practice, it's not an absolute rule. The ultimate goal is always safety and efficiency, and sometimes that means breaking with tradition and embracing a different approach. In conclusion, 
The tradition of boarding planes from the left side is deeply rooted in history, practicality, and safety. From nautical practices to modern-day aviation, this practice has stood the test of time. But let's take a moment to appreciate the rich tapestry of history that has shaped this convention. Imagine the early days of aviation, where pilots and engineers drew inspiration from the maritime world. Ships, which were the epitome of travel and exploration at the time, always had the captain's quarters on the left side, or port side. This maritime tradition seamlessly transitioned into the world of aviation, where the captain's seat was placed on the left, influencing the design and operational norms of aircraft boarding. As aviation technology evolved, the practicality of left-side boarding became evident. With the majority of airport infrastructure designed to accommodate this practice, it ensured a standardized, efficient and safe process for both passengers and crew. Even today, this tradition ensures that pilots have optimal visibility and control during ground operations. So next time you board a plane, you'll know why you always enter from the left. It's not just a random choice, but a practice steeped in history, shaped by practical needs and refined by decades of aviation advancements. This small yet significant detail is a testament to how deeply intertwined our modern practices are with the wisdom of the past. Please leave your thoughts in the comments section. Also like, share, and come back for more intriguing insights into the world of aviation and beyond.